she said, right. Mommy, I'm Hopefully cold. Can. And she hold her hands up. A two year old little girl found wandering a neighborhood all alone. Residents spotted the toddler this morning outside in the cold and we're talking about the winds, the windy weather. Yep, she's going to be OK, but there are still a lot of questions about how this all happened, where her parents were and more. Stephen Hernandez live with what we know so far. Yeah, and talk about a cold and windy morning. 19 News meteorologist Kelly Dobek tells me that the wind gusts were up to almost 40 miles an hour. That made it feel as cold as 40 degrees. So imagine if you're just a two-year-old baby walking around on your own. Thankfully, that little girl is okay, but there's still more questions than answers. This two-year-old girl was found alone in the cold in front of Hope Academy East early this morning. Residents are wondering how she even got there. I've never seen this baby before. Miss Sylvia works at the school where students call her Nana. She chose not to show her face on camera, but she says she saw the minor wandering by the school with just a shirt and pull up on for warmth. She didn't know her mom's name. She just said, Mommy, I want my mommy and my daddy. And she told me that she was cold. Miss Sylvia's concerned the two year old came from as far as two blocks down at Evangeline Road. But she's also just as concerned over how her parents allowed her to be so far away from home. I think she got out the house and the parents were asleep. She could have been following her siblings that's leaving out to go to school and she went out behind them. The little girl is now with the Department of Children and Family Services after being treated at Rainbow Babies and Children's Hospital. The girl's father was also identified and residents like Betty Easley hope that he's held accountable. We would find the parent, we would take them in and, and let them know what's going on. In the meantime, they are still coming to terms with an incident that is absolutely rare in their community. I don't know how long the child had been out here alone by themselves in the cold. That's, that's really disgusting. Now, detectives are still talking to family members to figure out exactly how this little girl ended up walking on her own. No charges have been filed yet either, but stay tuned to 19 News because we will be updating you with any details as they come. In Cleveland, Stephen Hernandez, 19 News.